Hi, this is Laura Chapel, and this is Wireshark Tip 6. If you want to stay up to date with the Wireshark Tip series, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. This tip defines the following. Filter on tcp.analysis.flags ampersand ampersand exclamation point tcp.analysis.window underscore update and click save to make it a button. Well that's kind of a mouthful that tip but basically what we're doing is we're taking the bad TCP coloring rule string and we're filtering on that value to find any TCP problems in the trace file. We click the save to make it a button so that when we open up a trace file and we wonder if we have some TCP problems, we can quickly just click a button to see if there are such problems. Let me show you this in a demonstration. I've opened up the trace file called http-download-bad. And this is a trace file that I really love because it has so many different problems in it. This is a trace file you can download from wiresharkbook.com. It's one of the supplements from the Wireshark Network Analysis book, the big book. I'm going to pull the bad TCP coloring rule string and I'm going to place it in this filter area and then I'm going to click this save button over here which will be available in just a moment to make it a button. So I can quickly click on that button when I open a trace file to see if there are TCP problems. Now of course another way to do this would be simply to go down to the expert button in the bottom left hand corner and open that up. But I also like to have a button so that I can quickly pull all of that traffic into view. I'll begin by opening up the coloring rules. And there's the string that I want right here. It's in the bad TCP coloring rule. So I'm going to double click on it twice to open it up. And then I'm just going to copy that string and cancel these windows out. I'll paste that string in the display filter area, and then I'll click the Save button. Wireshark prompts me for the name for this button, and I'm going to call it Bad TCP with no space in there. I'll say OK. And now I have a button up here for Bad TCP. I'll clear the filter out, and if I were just to open up a trace file and I'd like to see any of the packets that match that filter, I'll just click this button and I can quickly see that I have packet loss in this trace file and there's all the packet loss recovery process. So it's an easy and quick way to see all of your TCP style errors by just simply clicking a button. If you'd like to follow along with the Wireshark tip series, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. For more information on Wireshark training or additional Wireshark tips, visit chapelu.com.